Hey, I'm here today to introduce you to a plant that I've been meaning to share with you for a while. It's called yarrow. This is one growing in my yard. I kind of have it everywhere. And it's not a picky plant, so you'll probably see it lots of places. One of the identifiers are its feathery, really soft leaves that have a lot of powers in them. Um, you can use yarrow leaves for a lot of different things, but um, our family calls this plant nature's band-aid. So everyone knows that if you have a cut or a wound and you're in the middle of nowhere without a bandage, you can find yarrow and chew up the leaves and actually put the chewed up paste into a wound and stop the bleeding from happening. So it's a perennial and there are about 140 different species of this plant so they might not all be white like the one I just showed you um, and they're characterized by their clustered flowers and the hairy aromatic leaves so flowers from June to November it's kind of crazy actually because when yarrow is distilled as an essential oil it turns blue so because yarrow is so good for your skin and so healing, we make a salve that's our dandy salve, which is, has a tint, a blue or green, I guess, tint because I add the blue yarrow essential oil to the dandelion oil that I make from the dandelions growing in our yard, um, along with a few other things. But it's super healing, really great for your skin. Um, so some of the historical uses besides healing wounds, um, which was actually said to happen in Greek mythology. Achilles used yarrow to heal soldiers' wounds, which is actually part of the official name of this plant, Achillea. So it's kind of a cool little tidbit. Um, yarrow's in the daisy family also, which I think I forgot to mention. Um, so yeah, it it has regenerate, regenerate, regenerative properties um, to help connective tissue in your skin to heal. So um, helps your body reco recover from injury. It's also got good. It can help with gastro gastrointestinal discomfort. So it can help with cramping. Historically, it's been used for fevers. It's a diaphoretic, so it will make your body sweat. It's been used, the tea of yarrow has been used for colds and fever. Loss of appetite is another reason that it was used. And actually some people just chew on yarrow leaves to heal a toothache. So another little tidbit you can use in a pinch. Just make sure you have yarrow and not another plant. Um, it can, one thing to mention if you're using it on your skin really regularly is that it can make your skin more photosensitive. So just use a good sunscreen if you're using a lot of yarrow on your skin. Um, with extended applications. It can be really great for gallbladder and liver support, um, chapped skin, chapped hands, um, for wounds and sores. That's why we have the dandy salve in our in our shop and why we make it because it is really magical on your skin um, oh my gosh there's so many things it can be used on sore nipples which is another good mama tip um, yeah I don't know it's just like this really magical plant that you'll find everywhere not picky like I mentioned you can find it in waste places and like along railroad tracks I see it at the top of the mountain when I'm hiking like there are just it grows out of the curb at the bottom of my yard um, it's just not picky it's it can be found in meadows and pastures and all kinds of different places so I'm sure you'll see it between June and November especially um, yeah and it's really magical so Give it some love if you find it somewhere.